Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on a bronze glitter eye look and I was really inspired by my last tutorial when I used a black glitter so I decided to use gold and these are the Violet Boss glitters and I just got them not too long ago and I absolutely love them you guys. They're amazing. They come in so many different colors and I want to own every single color but I only have like half of them. I know it sounds crazy but my mom got them for me and I have almost all of them but there's a few of them that I don't have so I really need to get all of them because they are that amazing. And in this one I use Champagne Kisses. So this is like a taupey gold color and I thought it would be really pretty for holiday parties or New Year's Eve parties. So if you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. Okay guys, so first I primed my skin with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. And I just got a spray tan, so this is a little dark for me, but it does match pretty well for now. And all I'm doing is tapping it out with a Real Techniques sponge. Next, I'm just going to set that a little bit with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. And I really, really love this powder, you guys. I always use it. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows with my NYX Cake Powder. And so far, I've just been loving this product, you guys. I've mentioned this before in my November favorites, and I've been using this the last few weeks. I just really like how natural this looks. I really like to kind of pack on my brow powder, and I feel like this doesn't get too much. Like, it's not that pigmented, so you don't have to be super careful with it. You can just use it as you like. And now I'm just going to feather out my brows with a clear brow gel. And this looks a little dramatic right now, but it does fall a little bit after a while i just really like how full this makes your brows look so i'm just doing that next i'm going to be priming my eyes with my kat von d high voltage primer this is my all-time favorite primer i haven't found anything that i like better but i'm going to be using this and then setting it with a powder that matches my skin tone next i'm going to be applying some tape and I'm just using this on the corners of my eye to give a sharper line. You can do this when you want that really sharp cat eye effect, which is what we're going for in this tutorial. We're just going to use it for now and peel it off later. We're going to apply a fawn colored transition shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It's just those two shades that I pointed out. I mixed both of them together and I went into my crease with this and I kind of brought it up into my upper crease. I'm just darkening it as I see fit. I'm taking the darker color and kind of putting it on the outer corner of my eye and the lighter one dragging it inward. I'm just equally mixing these out and making sure that it's nice and even. I just really, really love these two colors and I thought, why not use both? So next I'm going to use ColourPop Get Lucky Eyeshadow and this shadow is so pretty you guys. You really don't need to apply the glitter after this but if you're looking for a more natural gold you could just leave it just like this but I love this color. It's just a really true gold. It's not yellow. It's not copper. It's very very much just a really pretty gold color and I love how pigmented these ColourPop shadows are. Next I'm going to apply this Violet Voss glitter glue and I'm just applying this to my lid because I'm going to go in with a glitter right after this and this is going to make sure that the glitter sticks. So next I'm going to take this Violet Voss Champagne Kisses glitter and I think this is such a beautiful color you guys. It really does look like champagne. It's not too gold. It would look really good over any eyeshadow look but I thought it would look really good over this Get Lucky Shadow by ColourPop. I'm just packing this onto my lid. Next, I'm applying my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Brown Eyeliner, and I'm using this to tight line my eyes and act as a base for my Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow, which is just like a matte black. And I really didn't want to use liquid liner for this look because I wanted it to be a more softer cat eye effect, so I used eyeshadow, and you guys can use liquid if you want, but I just decided to use this eyeshadow. The sharp line that it's going to create with the duct tape, it's going to be really, really cat-like, and I just didn't want it to be too harsh because we are working with glitter. I didn't want it to overpower the glitter look. So I'm just taking that corrupt shadow and I'm applying it from my inner tear duct all the way to the outer corner of my eye. And you can really drag this up if you'd like because you are going to get a perfect line with this tape. You can use this method if you do use liquid liner as well. It's always going to give you that super perfect line. So if you struggle with eyeliner, I would definitely try the tape and see how it works for you. And now you'll see that there's a really, really sharp line and I just probably couldn't do it this sharp without it, so the tape really, really helps. Next, I'm going to take some more of that dark brown color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm just deepening up my upper crease. I wanted the upper crease to be a lot more dramatic than what it looked like, so I just applied some more of that dark brown, and I really think this is a very, very beautiful color. 
Next, I'm going to take a matte shade from the Too Faced palette, and I'm using this as a brow bone highlight. I really wanted to use matte because I felt like it would look really good with this look. And afterward, I kind of had to remove my face makeup because that glitter got all over my face. So I removed it, went in with my Becca primer, and then I applied my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, and I just really, really love this foundation right now. The one I used earlier was a little too cakey, so I applied this one instead, and I ended up really liking it a lot, a lot more. So I'm going to be applying my Bella lashes, and these are Coco lashes in the style Bella. I love these lashes, you guys. I think you guys have seen me use these a couple times. They just give you a really smoky effect, and they're just super beautiful for this look. Next, I'm going to be applying some concealer, and this is the Age Rewind Concealer in Neutralizer, and I just love this so much. I love that it has a yellow tone to it. It really, really brightens up any makeup look, and I just love the formula of it. It blends out really, really nicely, so I'm just applying this underneath my eyes, and I'm going to be doing a little highlighting with this as well. Next, I'm just tapping it out with a Real Techniques sponge. I really, really love this sponge a lot more than just a beauty blender. They're kind of hard to come by because everybody is buying them now, but whenever I see one, I always get my hands on it just because they're so, so good and you guys need to try them out for sure. Next, I'm going to set all of that with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder, and this is in the shade Transparent. I really love this powder for setting your makeup. It's not too overpowering, and it's not super white either. It's just a really nice transparent shade, but it still brightens it up very subtly. I'm just applying this under my eyes, my upper lip, my chin, and also my forehead. Next, I'm going to apply some bronzer, and I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit to do this. I'm just taking the cinnamon shade and applying this to my cheekbones, just really nice and diffused. I didn't want this to be any contouring because I am gonna go back in with my L'Oreal True Match Cocoa Powder and I really love using this to contour my face. I'm just taking a small Morphe brush and applying this to my cheekbones and really deepening up the hollows in my cheeks because I wanted this to be a really nice, sharp contour. And I just absolutely love this True Match Powder. It's really, really nice. Whenever I have a spray tan, it always looks the best on me. It has a really nice, warm undertone to it, and I think it's very complimenting to this look, so I'm really glad I used it. You guys should try this out if you want an affordable contour powder. It's amazing. So next, I'm going to take my Milani Rose de Oro Blush. This is also one of my favorite blushes of all time, you guys. It's perfect for fall. I love all the peach and rose undertones it has in it, and I think it goes really nice with this look. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks, and then I'm going to take Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, and I'm applying this to the tops of my cheekbones. And you guys, this is my all-time favorite highlight ever. I'm going to apply this to the bridge of my nose, and I'm going to put a lot of it on my nose because I really wanted this to be super glowy and beautiful. Next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Smolder Eyes Eye Pencil. This is just the brown shade, and I'm applying this to my lower lash line because then I'm going to go in with that same dark brown shade I used before from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm going to smudge this underneath my lashes. I really wanted to give this a nice smoky brown look. I didn't want to use black or anything. Just a really nice subtle brown I thought would look really good with the gold. And next, I'm going to take that Smolder Pencil and apply this to my waterline. This is going to really make it look super smoky and sultry. And I really like that I did this. I haven't used any brown on my waterline in a while, and I think it came out really good. I'm going to apply some mascara, and then I'm going to go and apply my lip liner. This is by Jordana. I really like this color. It's Rock and Rose. This goes really good with any nude lipstick, you guys, and these are very affordable. I have almost all of them, but I feel like Rock and Rose is probably my favorite color out of all of them. It just matches all my nude lipsticks, and I like that it doesn't have a lot of warm in it. It's more of like a cooler brown. And next, I'm going to apply my Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, you guys. This is just an amazing nude shade, and you guys definitely need to check this out because it's absolutely beautiful. And that is it for this look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Champagne Kisses bronze look. I hope you wear it to some holiday parties, and please like this video if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I'm gonna be doing this look a lot this month. I just really enjoyed the glitter and the colors that I used. It's really neutral, but you could really dress this look up. And I just can foresee myself using this all the time now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video.